you know, a lot of people think that, you know, refugees are people who just, you know, maybe woke up in the morning and leave what they love. You know, for them, they, they had a family. For them, they had a country that they call home. And, and, and because of the war, it was a, it was a journey of, you know, of life and death where you have to decide whether you, you're going to be there or find a different home. Having a conversation with my mother, for her, like giving birth on the way, it was like the most difficult thing. You know, it was really very difficult for somebody to flee a country that like more than 250 miles. And, and they had no idea where they're going, you know, whether they're going to Uganda, whether they're going, ending up in, with, within South Sudan as, you know, internally in, displaced people. It was just so hard. Even in South Sudan itself, there was no place where they can be able to settle. You didn't even know where, like, your sisters are. You didn't know where your, your family is. You didn't know. It, it was just like, and that's why my dad had to, like, use a different route. And for me, like, being born on the way. And she was not the only woman, actually, that gave birth on the way. There were others, and some of them, you know, could throw their children away because they didn't want them to suffer. It was just, it was just this, this whole, you know, dark space in, in human life that just comes, that whether you're going to go through it or not. That experience was just like nobody deserved it, you know, in, in the world. And I wish we live in a world where people really understand and have empathy and instead of like teaching it, you know, all those things are always happening. I'm not the only person person there are more than 1,000 or 10,000 Luol that are also like in that same space there are more than 2.5 refugees around the world there's refugees everywhere others are displaced by famine others are displaced by war others are you know political issues like everybody has a different thing that they went to go through and that's why it's really very important to share stories like this I've learned a lot of things first of all like when I was in a refugee camp we had nothing to do. Like the only thing we do as kids is wake up in the morning, go and play football. Like, I mean, soccer, because they were like, there's no, like, there's no any other thing that you could do. You know, there's no good healthcare. You know, there's no good, you know, there was no food. We, we wait like once in a month uh, for, for the United Nations to bring like food for you every month, you know, and that's what we rely on. You know, like you have a family of five people and you're only getting like 25 kilogram of like a mess flour. And that's what you're waiting for like a month. And that's how you sustain yourself. Other people would actually be more creative and do other hand work, you know, go laying brick and then you sell them. It was just this, even raining sometimes, it can rain and you don't have a house. You only have like a tent that you're sleeping on. And a lot of people think that, you know, living in a refugee camp is like, it's a temporary thing. No, you know, people are born there. People are, are been there for like 23, 24 years of my life. People like been there for 50 years. Like it's, it's become a home for other people because you were displaced from the only place that you know. And and that helped me a lot to understand, to think about, okay, this is where I'm going to live. This is my home. I'm not, there is nothing that I expect better than this. So it gave me a mindset of like, okay, let me try to create a change here by myself, you know, in order to be able to like keep going. This level of like human experience that can help me to be able to think about, okay, I can use my experiences, my past, my difficulties to create a sustainable future for other people. And, 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 and that's really what I learned from it. And, and also being grateful, I think so. Like, you know, being happy with what I had. I remember like, you know, I had to like take a step ahead without knowing anything to ask my mother for a computer. And that was crazy idea. You, you wouldn't even think about that as a, as a kid. First of all, you know, there's no money. There's no place where you're going to like charge the computer. Uh, who's going to teach you how to use it? Like all those things at the same time, but I didn't care about them. I just, I knew that there's somebody that can believe in me. There's that mindset of, of me that I didn't care whether I have resources or not. I had to be comfortable. I, I was happy every day. Like those experiences kind of like helped me to, to be who I am today and also to create what I'm creating today. Mm-hmm.